So I think there's a few things that make this program special. I think the most important one is the people. It's a community of people, a family, where everyone is focused on making each person the best physician they can be so they can succeed in any aspect of emergency medicine. Um, beyond that, we have a 45 year history of training every person to be an outstanding clinician so that they can thrive in any clinical environment. And then finally, our program is about developing leaders in emergency medicine, people who will leave a legacy of making an impact on their specialty and their communities. So our residency program is essentially like one big family. We are a large residency. We have over 70 residents, but it feels small. We have a large number of faculty here that have different special interests. We train at three level one trauma centers, which is not usually heard of. It'll be a challenging program. You're gonna be pushed outside of your comfort zone because that's how you learn and grow. Uh, but as you're pushed outside of your comfort zone, you're gonna be well supported by your co-residents and all the faculty. And I think the level of support that you get here is one of the things that makes this program special and it'll really help you to thrive. Coming up to the Midwest where there's no family up here, it was a little worrisome. I was like, okay, it's gonna be lonely up here. We have a really close residency where we always wanna make sure that everyone's all right, checking in on each other. And when we say we're a big family, it really is. It really does feel like a big family. We know we know each other's spouses, we know each other's kids, we even know each other's pets. It is a big program, but I think that's really a benefit. What it means is that we have a lot of resources, we have a large faculty um, who will help you succeed in whatever you want to do. So regardless of your interest, whether that's simulation or EMS, critical care, ultrasound, global health advocacy, we have faculty here who are experts and who will share that passion with you. But we do a lot to really make it feel like a smaller program, starting with our orientation month, where you're gonna to get to know the program directors, the faculty, the other residents very, very well. We have a lot of uh, a lot of events over the course of the orientation month to really get you integrated into the program. We have an outstanding mentorship program led by one of the national experts in emergency medicine mentoring, Julie Welch. And you're gonna find mentors here who will be your mentors, not just for the next three years, but for the rest of your life. The relationship between the residents and the faculty are very, is very collegial. The faculty, I mean, they do a nice job of, you know, teaching and being those leaders and those examples for the residents. But at the same time, I mean, we're on first name basis with the majority of our residents and we do things outside of the residency with our residents. We you will know, have them over for dinner and things like that to get to get to know them on a deeper level outside of just the clinical setting. I think the clinical experience that you get here is probably second to none, um, given that we have three level one trauma centers that you staff, two general EDs and a pediatric emergency department, all with very high volumes, very high acuity. I feel entirely prepared to, to start my job search and to practice really anywhere in the country. So we have the advantage of rotating in two of the biggest emergency medicine departments in the state and really some of the biggest departments in the country. As a resident, uh, you will be rotating through primarily three different hospitals. One of them is our county hospital, Eskenazi Hospital, which is actually a beautiful hospital if you picked them out. Just by looking at them, you wouldn't know that that was our county hospital. And that's where we just see a lot of our inner city, underprivileged, underserved populations. You get a lot of acuity there because they come when they're kind of at the extreme of their disease. And you also see a lot of trauma because of that. So we have a lot of both penetrating and blunt trauma, so your gunshot wounds and your stabs, as well as like high-speed car accidents and things like that. When you move over to Methodist Hospital, which is also a level one trauma center, it's a little bit different. It's a interesting hybrid of like academic and community. We have some services that are staffed by residents, and that kind of functions more like the academic side of things, and then others that are faculty, the attendings, and their mid-levels, like their PAs and their NPs. And because of that, that's awesome because you get to do a lot more procedures. But we also get things flown in from all over the state there. That's where we have the highest number of specialties. Um, so you'll see super rare diseases and uh, disease processes and learn how to take care of things like that as well. And then the third hospital is Riley. That's our children's hospital, the only level one peds hospital in the state. And um, they, again, it's very similar to Methodist in that they get everything flown in from everywhere. So you see a lot of very rare childhood diseases, congenital disorders, things like that, that you're not gonna see in other places. So they work nicely together because they each have their own niche and they just round out the clinical education. I challenge you to find any other program in the country that has three level one trauma centers within two miles of each other with the diversity of pathology that we see.
The training here is absolutely outstanding. It really checks all the boxes. It really is the full package. It uh, provides amazing clinical education. You get a ton of critical care time during your first year. And then second and third year, you're in the emergency department working. You're seeing a ton of patients, more than some of my other colleagues were that I've talked to from medical school. You're getting a ton of exposure to a bunch of different pathology and uh, you really get the opportunity to kind of mold and turn into your own doctor. The program affords you an incredible amount of autonomy and that was certainly something that I was looking for when I was picking programs. And I really appreciate how much I've learned and grown in being in this program by being able to make my own decisions with the support of the faculty uh, as I do that. I think that the clinical training that I'm getting is top notch and like some of the best in the world. Um, the cost of living here is great, so the move wasn't too crazy. Um, and then some of the like the residents and the faculty here are just really friendly and some of the nicest people that I've had the chance to meet uh, and work with in my career. Oh, I would say it's uh, it's just continue to surprise me in a good way as far as what I'm getting out of this curriculum here. When I was doing my search and trying to figure out where I wanted to go for residency, the critical care exposure stood out. Uh, in addition, the, uh, the uh, elective tracks stood out. So you have the option to, if you, if you want to you know, stand out in critical care, if you want to stand out in administration or advocacy, you have the option to do that here. Unlike other programs that are like set in stone, this one is always looking for innovation. Everyone was like, oh, we love IU residents. We know they, they work hard, they're smart, they can move the department, and if we have critically ill patients, they can care for them um, without missing a beat. So we are very um, valued across the country. So as a resident, you'll be staffing one-on-one -on -one in the emergency departments with our faculty. The IU School of Medicine Emergency Medicine faculty comes from all over the country. You'll be training with people who have done subspecialty work in emergency medical services, in toxicology, in the ICU, in pediatric emergency medicine, in ultrasound. These are all fellowships that we offer here and you'll be staffing as a resident I feel IU program is the best EM program, um, not only because of the training, how much critical care exposure we get, but also the people here, um, the culture here, all just is, you can't ask for more. I mean, it's, it's the best. One of the things that we really pride ourselves on here is our experience in critical care. So we do six months of critical care through our three years of training, and that's one of the highest amounts of critical care in any residency in the country. And we have a lot of autonomy in our, in our ICU. So our, we rotate in the medical ICU, we rotate in the trauma and surgical ICU, we do specialized ICUs in neurocritical care and cardiac critical care, as well as rotations in our pediatric ICU at Riley Hospital and in our neonatal intensive care unit at IU North. One of the things that we do as soon as you come here is we try and set up a support system to help you to thrive. Um, so we draw people from all corners of the country. Um, we have people with a diversity of experiences. We have people who have families, people who are single, and they all come here and really become part of the program and part of the family. Um, it's a very cohesive program because we're very intentional about the way that we integrate you into the program, starting with your assigned um, a faculty and a resident mentor before you even get here in Indianapolis to help you really get to know the city and the program. Um, and then we have a very robust orientation month with a lot of activities where you'll get to, get to know the program directors really well, your co-residents, faculty. Um, you're really going to become integrated into the program in all aspects uh, of the community here. We all kind of know each other and at least enough to like ask one to go like to the park and or to take the dogs out and like go for a walk or find a park in the city um, or go grab a beer after a shift or something like that so from a resident perspective i think we do uh, develop a sense of like um, camaraderie enough that it's kind of like our support system there um, as a person and not like a physician or a resident uh, and as a gay man like some that was really important for me to know that coming here i was going to be both safe um, and find a support system here. Uh, I think it was a little bit easier for me because I live like three blocks from the, or not even three blocks, I think it's like a block and a half from the gay district here. And so meeting friends that um, I have things in common with wasn't very difficult at all. Everybody at the, um, you know, going out, it's easy to just like see people on the streets and say hello. Coming from a different state, it was, you know, a little bit nerve wracking somewhere that I'm used to being, but when I came here, I felt that I kind of found my group and fit in really smoothly, and I've been happy ever since.
As interns, we have a disaster day in our first months. We actually have an entire facility that simulates what a subway without any electricity would be like. We had uh, one sim where all the lights were off and the only thing you heard was cell phones ringing. That was really eerie and it was something that they described after 9-11. It was something that's been described after bombings in, in London and other places in the world is what would this look like if there's no electricity, if everyone's phones were ringing and their loved ones were trying to find those people that were hurt. Um, and I think our ability to simulate that so that it's not a new experience if, if it ever were to come to that and if it was ever something you experienced is really important. EMS Day was another fun one. You get to go out there, hang out with the firefighters and uh, get to play with all their cools and uh, the jaws of life and get to cut through cars, break glass. So that's always fun. So what I learned from that was you know, looking at pretty much what happens before the patient gets to you. It allows our residents and people that work in the emergency department to understand what our first responders do in order to get our patients to us in the emergency department. This is what the whole point of our program is to show that we doctors don't work in isolation. That we work with the fire service, EMS, our nurses, the respiratory techs. Like it's all about a, a, a healthcare team and this, is, this shows from start to finish what it's going to look like. Simulation is an important part of emergency medicine and really any kind of medical training. There's no guarantee that you will that you will have all those experiences in residency, but they are an expectation that you're able to handle them as an attending physician. Certainly, we're very lucky here. The patient volume that we see, and most people have experienced um, many of these procedures, even the rare procedures that we that we reemphasize with them. Our training here is second to none. Um, I we are like able to go out and work wherever we want after residency. If you want to be pushed, and I mean be uncomfortable to grow, this is the place to go. This is a fast-paced ER. Um, we see lots of patients, you get lots of clinical experience, um, but you will be pushed to your uncomfortable, and I feel like that is how we will grow into the be the best emergency medicine physicians that we can be, and that will teach you to work anywhere in the world. There, there are times where you just, you just go home and you're like, wow, like what did I see today? What did I do today? And I was able to do it correctly and I had the support to do it. And that's those are the those are the nights or the days that I know that I chose the right program. Um, knowing that, you know, going anywhere else, I, I don't think I would have been exposed to the, the same complexity as I am here. And not only that, but like reinforce with great educators as well. So we draw people from all over the country and I think that everyone who comes here, no matter where they come from, they find that Indianapolis is really a great city. So, you know, it's a city that has a lot to do, it hosts a lot of events, it has one of the best up and coming food scenes in the country, a lot of great outdoor areas and outdoor activities, amazing museums and concert venues. Um, it, you know, it's one of the best sports country, sports cities in the country, I think. Um, so it has all this exciting stuff to do, but at the same time it's a very livable city. It's very affordable. Um, so it's really a great place for a young professional to come and live. One of the coolest things about our program is that it is in Indiana and um, Indianapolis is a really awesome city. Um, I think it, a lot of people hear Indianapolis and don't know much about it but truly it's like a hidden gym. Um, there's so many things to do outdoors especially during the summer um, and Indianapolis itself has been growing um, exponentially since I've even moved here a year ago. Truthfully we didn't have any family over here, but we knew this program was great. It has one of the best critical care experiences and something I was interested in. So I wanted to go ahead and take a trip over here. Um, when we came over, we actually visited before I did my rank list, and we loved it. They had live music, downtown was fun, went to the circle, and it was honestly just a really fun time, and we saw ourselves enjoying this. It kind of reminded us a little bit of New Orleans. So one of the things I really love is that I'm downtown. It's live downtown, but only 15 minutes away. We have like one of the state parks and we'll go over to Eagle Creek, bring our dog out there, go run some of the trails, and then I don't have to drive an hour away. I can just have a good time there and come back 15 minutes later. I have a family, wife, two kids. I live um, actually in one of the suburb, suburbs of Indianapolis. And um, the area here has been really enjoyable to live in, especially for the kids. The cost of living is low, and I actually got an incredible value on my house when I came here, and that was uh, a big deal to us to be able to get a good space for the kids. Uh, we live in a great school district, and, and they're um, benefiting from that as well. 
One place that we really love to take the kids is the Indianapolis Children's Museum as well as the zoo. We have memberships to both and the kids absolutely adore going there and they're fantastic. Um, and there's certainly uh, plenty to do both in the suburbs and downtown. I live downtown, so it's pretty uh, easily accessible to just about any kind of like nightlife or food venue that I am excited to go explore. Um, I like how close it is to the hospitals as well. It's about a 10 minute drive from where I live, and so it's easy to get it um, like from home to work and everything like that. I would tell anyone to come here that really wants to make the program their own, that wants to be in charge of their patients, wants to be given kind of the full autonomy to run the department. Um, it's amazing what we get to do and how much our faculty trust us and how much they're willing to teach us and push you but always be there for you. And just the experience that you get here is just unmatched. I think that coming to the program here has probably been the best thing that's happened to me in my professional career. The training here is absolutely outstanding. It really checks all the boxes. It really is the full package. We're looking for people who want to make a difference. One of the hallmarks of our training is that we will train you to work in solo independent practice if that's what you choose, because that's the hardest venue to work. We're looking for people who are go-getters, energetic, creative, and we invite you to come be a part of our IUEM family.